media presentation at the Palm Beach Barrett Jackson auction. We're very fortunate today that not only do we have two major Ford executives here, we actually have Craig Jackson, CEO of Barrett Jackson, and Steve Davis with us today. So instead of listening to me chat a little bit about this, we're going to ask Craig to say a few words about Ford and Barrett Jackson. Craig? Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm a huge uh, Shelby Ford fan of a uh, 05 GT and a 17 GT, which we were just talking about, just took it out to the track for the first time, and numerous uh, Shelby's in between. And newest one is I bought bin number one of the new GT 500 to go along with uh, my vintage cars that I have. And uh, I was just looking at this picture of Carol sitting in there uh, with the inventory number on the front windshield there and uh, you know the history of Ford and Shelby is truly amazing and it's an American icon how we took it to Ferrari and uh, how a bunch of hot rodders from Southern California uh, went to Europe with the coupes and won and just the whole heritage of the Shelby and the Ford connection uh, most of my collection is Shelby's I gotta thank this guy because he got me into it and uh, I grew up a Chevy guy. My brother had a uh, GT350, 34th one ever built. When he passed, it came to our, our family's trust and uh, it's, it's never going to leave. And uh, from there, I really fell in love with it and Carol being a personal friend and that connection and all those moments at Barrett Jackson, having Carol up there when we sold his personal Cobra for $5.5 million and uh, selling his personal, uh, what was that, a 70 or 69? Yeah, his, his, his GT500 convertible for 640000 I think it brought. We've had a lot of great moments with Ford. I couldn't be prouder of the new car. Uh, and uh, that's it. I'm excited about the future. Steve Davis. Welcome, everybody. Anybody that knows me at all knows I'm, I, I love them all, but uh, there's a blue oval under, under here. And, uh, <laughs> uh, grew up around this stuff as a kid, the Hot Wheels cars, all the way through. You know, Shelby, when I was a kid, I really dream about these cars. Never, ever, in a million years, ever owned one. But uh, very fortunate. Uh, back in 1977, I remember going to my wife and telling I got. I got a really exciting news for you. I found this incredible 67 supercharged Shelby that just drove into our town in California behind on a U-Haul trailer being towed by a GT500. This is this is like in the 70s, but this is a 67 GT500 towing a blue, Brittany blue GT350 factory supercharged car. I spot on the freeway. Make a long story short, a series of events, I ended up buying that car. I'm going to tell my wife, this car is incredible. I can put a deal together on it, and the only way we could do it is put a second mortgage in our house at that time, which we did. And uh, I'm proud to say that that car still lives in, in the garage. And uh, when the Ford GT came out, I was blessed to be uh, chosen for one of those cars. It's painted the same exact Britney Blue. So the 67 GT350 supercharged car sits right next to the uh, brand new Ford GT, both Britney Blue. We picked it his uh, black red, which matched the Bear Jackson Shelby GT. Uh, that we came out with and was blessed too to be able to actually market uh, and, and uh, sell the Shelby GT black red stripes along with Carol. And again, just in closing, to be together with the Ford Motor Company along with all of our partners, but particularly Ford and, and, and the love that we have and Greg's history as well as mine, getting to know Carol and working with him very closely. And also starting this incredible thing that's raised millions and millions and millions of dollars for charity, our, our bin number one, the very first bin number one, the idea was hatched and came alive over our auction block with Edsel Ford and, and Shelby, Carol, coming together after all the years of all the drama. Any of you guys out there know what I'm talking about. But to have Edsel Ford and Carol Shelby on the stage of Karen Jackson, who we sold the very first GT 507. One of the most anticipated cars, in my opinion, of all time, because again, of the history represented. Have that happen in Barrett Jackson, and then all of the amazing things that's followed since then. Four GTs, GT500s, the Hertz cars, uh, 
KR, uh, the KR the GT350, uh, which again carries the squad number one GT500. So again, we feel a very, very uh, close uh, relationship with our with our, our, our fellow uh, comrades at Ford, but also are proud to know that the DNA that lives and breathes in all these cars manifests itself regularly over our auction block. We like to think that Barry Jackson really has done a lot to spotlight that and bring in so many great new people that can then appreciate what these cars represent. At the same time, see the DNA that uh, rose across the auction block back in 65. Which is our cover today. car, 67, 67 Shelby is the cover of our catalog. Early car, inboard headlights, love it. So we're all thrilled and honored to have you here. And uh, Scott, did you want to introduce our, our, our special guest here? So we're very fortunate that we have someone that is not only a Ford Performance fan, but a motorsports fan. So Jeannie Capaldi is new to the role here with Barrett Jackson, but she is going to give you a walk around of the new GT500 for those of you who don't know it. And then she'll be available afterwards to answer questions about the Ford Performance lineup. You heard Craig and Steve both mention history, heritage. Um, speaking of history, this is our 14th year, Ford Motor Company's 14th year on board with Barrett Jackson, so we were very proud of. This is only my second event in my new role, so uh, it's very interesting. I'm learning a lot of new things about the enthusiast market, the enthusiast customer, really enjoying, uh, enjoying the stories, hearing the stories, talking to the customers. Um, I'm sure most of you know Ford Motor Company was founded on racing, technology transfer, road to race, race to road, uh, more so than ever when we're developing our cars, we're, we're, we're looking for those tech transfer. The Shelby GT500, the all new Shelby GT500 will be available in, in stores, uh, 2300 Shelby in rural dealers, you can, you can get a Shelby GT500. It'll be in stores later this year. It'll be a 2020 model. This particular unit that you see here is a uh, national trap package on it. The color you see here is Twister Orange. It's one of 11 colors. You can get some straps on the Shelby GT500. It comes with your uh, base vinyl. However, you can get painted stripes. And I believe you can get your stripes in three different uh, color options. talk to you today about the 2019 Heritage Edition. You may recognize this uh, livery as we sold the bin number one um, for charity in, uh, in January at Barrett Jackson in Scottsdale. That car um, fetched two and a half million dollars and uh, we're, we're, we're really proud of it. So as you look at the car, one of the first things you'll notice is that it has the powder blue marigold um, paint scheme, which is a tribute to 1075. 
1075 had six uh, wins and two consecutive wins in 1968 and 1969 at Le Mans. So one of it, only a handful of chassis that won uh, Le Mans twice. So you notice the exposed carbon fiber rondel, which is a tribute to the 1968 uh, car who won Le Mans. And over, you'll see its older brother with the number six, which is a tribute to the 1969 uh, car. Um, and you also notice a unique 20 inch wheel, which is a one piece cast aluminum lightweight wheel which is unique to the uh, heritage edition. And also explores carbon fiber as pillars, which, um, which, which alludes to all the carbon fiber that's in the car. It's, it's a carbon fiber tub. The entire car is made of carbon fiber for light weighting um, and stiffness and to provide the, the best performance on the track. Also, to the, uh, to the heritage edition is this number nine Rondell. There is a ghost um, uh, imprint on the inside of the doors, which also, um, and then the Alcantara interior, as well as the uh, orange and blue stitching that is on the steering wheel and the, the seats of, of the car. There are there are a couple options on this car. One of those is titanium lug nuts and titanium exhaust. Um, those are the, the really the only two options on the car. It comes as you see it is here. So we're really proud of it. It pays tribute to our rich heritage at Le Mans where we won 1966 through 69, uh, four years in a row. And we plan on continuing this package in 20 model year um, with some slight changes, one of them being the, the number six will appear to be tribute to the 69 car. So I'm here um, to talk to you. Do you have any more detailed questions on the car? Um, yes.